guys, so today we're going to do something that I have already done, but just a little bit of a different take on it. Um, I was busy looking on YouTube recently, and I saw there was somebody else making a dart a different way. Now, not that I'm not happy with my way, please don't hear that. Um, the description just above, you can go click on it and you'll see that, you know, my dots really do work and how to make them and everything. But this is going to be my second video on how to make them. It's a little bit of a different take um, on how to make them. So things you will need, um, obviously a pair of pliers and a wire to cut your wire and to shape your wire, a knife to cut your bottles. I've got two milk bottles here. Um, then I've got a bit of cotton wool or, or wool as you call it. Um, then obviously I've got some sticky tape, a, a heat gun, a bolt that does not fit in the blowgun and of course the blowgun itself. So those are the different things I'm going to be using today. Um, and of course the lathe over there. But you can get by not using the lathe by just using a piece of tin and just rolling the tin into a point. First things first though, let's take this thing to the lathe. I want to make this into a cone. So I want to get rid of all the excess material. I want to make it a cone and I want it to just be able to fit into the blowgun itself. So let's start that. So it is almost, almost that size. Um, if you have a look at that, the one side is going in but the other side isn't. So it just needs to go down just a fraction more. So, take a look at this, it's pretty much done, um, actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to sand it down and then, uh, yeah, we'll get on to it. Speed it up, move this thing out of the way. Give it a good sanding. Look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Now what we can do just cut along that line voila, cap done it's actually working quite well There's another cap. Okay, that's all of them. It's all of them flattened on one side and a little bit messed on the other so the fabric will grip. Let's just go and uh, give these guys a bit of a sharpening. Perfect. So 
photos are pretty damn perfect. Now on to the next step. So for those who are wondering how I'm tying it on, starting off by just going around here, getting this thing decently wound up. A nice little ball on the end of my dart, on the non-sharp side of my dart. Holding it in place there, I'm going to cut off the tip of one of these little caps. Okay. See there? I'm putting the end of my string through the cap, through the hole. So now it's on there. Then I'm pushing through the dart. So, and then I'm pulling this up all the way. And voila. Then I'm just doing exactly the same as I did before on the cap itself. And I guess you could actually dip these in super glue or um, just drop to put one or two drops of super glue in there. And then I'm just tying it off with a simple granny knot. As many of you know, darts won't, don't last too long because um, if you shoot them into the bushes, you lose them. And there's my finished product. Not too bad from about four and a half meters. I think I can hunt with that. I'm just gonna put a dollop of glue on each one, some wood glue, um, just to strengthen it. I'm just using wood glue. Um, you could probably use other stuff like super glue and things, but I'm just gonna use wood glue. It's still a little bit of light, so I'm gonna just take two of them and just go and see if I can get a bird or two. There it is, there it goes, and it's down. My first bird with a really cheap dart. Straight through it. Perfect, perfect, perfect shot. I thought that might happen with these darts. Let's see how many more we can get. As it stands, I am I'm not impressed with them, I will say. I will, I'm not incredibly impressed with them. Um, there are a few little glitches and a few little things that are not right about them that would have to be fixed if I was going to hunt with them. Um, but yeah, I think with a bit of tweaking, it might be something I might, might hunt with. Another one hit, another one hit. And there it is. Right there, come on, come on, fall. We've got a dart through you. Okay. Hey, 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 watch it, watch it, girl. It's got a dart through it. Okay, drop it, drop it, drop it. Got it. Okay, well, I think we'll call that quits. Okay, so my findings about these darts, as you can see, they are effective for hunting birds. This is a southern masked weaver, and this is a red-billed quilia, so they are effective on hunting these birds, and they are very easy to make. Um, I've got a few little issues. For one, these the caps are very, very uh, uh, elastic, and because of that, when you blow in the back, it does expand onto the sides of your pipe and it gives it a lot more drag. So you have to blow, blow a lot harder than I'm used to blowing um, for it. Also these darts, because of the cap being so light, the dart itself is very light. It doesn't have that boom, that, that stopping power that I'm used to. That being said, I'm gonna end this video on this note. These darts, if you are trying to make cheap darts, 
um, for yourself or for one of your loved ones and they've got no other darts available or darts are too expensive this is a method this is a method where you can make these darts and they do work due to the cap not being very rigid they do tend to spiral at distance so I wouldn't hunt anything more than about three three and a half meters but as you can see they are very effective at killing small birds small game but yeah that's a interesting interesting dart alternative please if you have not done so hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys next week meow meow you just remove the steel here we are kitty no not you cat meow Clara, mind out the way it's a cat's bird <laughs> the dog's like, where's mine? <laughs> it's for the cat, not for you. You don't eat birds.